Hello dear, this is Libby Me. How on that day this afternoon? Hope you're doing well wherever you are and I hope you're just being you. Alright, let's talk about this very sweet topic, yeah? <laughs> I know say some men go come now because you know say whenever it is not going their way, whatever you're talking is trash and crap. So now let us talk about this very post that a man made. This man made this very post and was talking about, you know, what, she, what he believed in and how he found out that he has been appreciating his wife very, like he has not been appreciating his wife since he got married to, him, to her. He always thought he is the one that brings the money and every appreciation should be on him so let's read this very post from this man on twitter and we'll discuss about it so his post said when i knew Luke got married i had the belief that all a man needed to do is to work so he can provide for his family so i do work hard i did extra jobs to make provisions and live a life i have always wanted Having done my part as a man, I was expecting my wife to be perfect in her own role in the home. Also, even though she was into her own personal creative work. Whenever I get home, I would sit, relax and wait to be saved. It wasn't as if I was completely handicapped, but I don't really get engaged in the major house chores. After all, the hardest part of living is to provide. The harder part of living is to provide his thoughts. He said, my thoughts. One day, I got back early. I was famished and I told my wife to prepare me something. She simply asked me to get bread and drink in order to buy more time before she makes dinner. That reply was the second in three days. I didn't like it. I was displeased. I got the bread. Now, he said... The wife told him, please get, uh, eat bread and drink so that before she go finish, so that she go fit and um, take her time to finish the dinner, which means the dinner wasn't ready, but the hungry, husband was hungry and he told her, say, oh, yeah, eat bread and uh, drink so that, you know, you go feel whole in body before she finished the dinner. Now, let's continue. He said, after a few minutes, she went to the kitchen. It was too soon for someone who needed to buy time. But I guess she noticed I was displaced. Afterwards, she would just do her thing, make food, and arrange things to make me voiceless. And so he said, I returned from work one day, and right from the door, I was perceiving a smell of a burning food. I quickly rushed to the kitchen to put the light off before I would go and face my wife, who is so carefree to have forgotten to check the food. My first step in the kitchen, I saw my wife sitting on a stool with her arms folded, leaning on a cupboard asleep. I put the cooker off and angrily tapped her. She didn't wake up. I tapped her again. No response. I did again no response. Still, I got scared. I noticed she was breathing. I quickly called for another, for another hand and we took her to a nearby clinic. The medical personnel told me she lacked rest and have overworked herself because of the unconsciousness. So she was, she has overworked herself and she became unconscious this very day when he came back and met her. He said lack of rest could lead to HBP, uh, that's high BP, heart attack, irregular heartbeat and more. When we got home, she took her rest. I began to think what type of work could make her tired, but I couldn't think of any. He couldn't think of anything that could have been stressing his wife so much that she was this tired. So I took two days off from work to help her till she gets better. Early in the morning, I quickly prepare food and make pap for our baby. She asked if I could bath the baby. I said yes. I undressed the baby, soaked the clothes and bath, and soaked the clothes and bath for her. To, to dress her up, I don't even know the clothes to pick. She had to help me out, even though she was sick. Then she asked if I can help feed the baby. I said yes. Feeding baby is the most hardest work I have ever done in my life. I ran out of patience. <laughs> 
I held her in my arms and waited till she slept. Then I remembered the soaked clothes. I went to wash together with the ones, uh, with the ones used the previous day. The house needed arrangement and there was a pot with burnt food needed to be cleaned with other dishes. At that point, I was hungry and sweating. I had to postpone other things. I took my rest. Mm. Mm. While resting, I realized these things, these little things, house chores were the everyday routine work to be done before my wife eventually have time for herself and business. With all these things, she will have to get things in the market to prepare food. Then something came to my mind saying, then something came to my mind saying, if she continues this way, she will wear out and one day you will receive a call that your wife is gone. That struck me. That struck him. That thought that his wife could be gone due to stress and overworking herself struck him. Following, I decided in my heart to be engaged in home chores and never will she be alone in the kitchen. We both must make the food. I don't even need to wait for her. And I changed. Most time I started the cooking and with all joy, anyone can see through it. The kitchen became, became lively more than the sitting room. If I'm not helping out, then I'm gisting her. Division of labor makes work easier faster and enjoyable. The kitchen is another world entirely. If it's lively, then the home is unbreakable. I didn't just give her rest. I earned myself more respect and love. Oftentimes it's said that a man needs a helpmate, but the truth is the woman also needs a helpmate. Hey, 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 hey. Say that again, sir. Say that again, sir. And many of our wives won't even allow their husband to do the chores or cook because they like to honor them. But their interest to support them is all they needed to see. A way to show appreciation and that they are aware of what they do. Most times, we only need our men to show appreciation and let us know that they are aware of these things we do, of this stress we go through. Now, they will always tell us, what are you doing? You only, a man goes out in the house, goes out in the morning and brings home money for food. For, he pays bills. He does this, he does that. Taking care of children alone is draining. There is another post I'm going to be making probably tomorrow or so about taking care of children. This is very draining. And so blachlik, so ridiculous that most men think that, you know, it's about shouting and yelling at children, you know, that is so easy to take care of the children. And then you're going to do that. You're going to take care of the house, clean the house, wash clothes, fold clothes, cook food. Thinking of food to make is another issue. Thinking of food to make, thinking of what to make for the family is also another issue. Then you go to the market, you do shopping, you do all those things. Now, a man, let's assume is a man who works in the bank or a man who works somewhere. Probably he needs to sit down at the, at the office, sit down with his computer and be pressing computer and uh, probably make some calls. Lunch time, he goes to have his lunch. Uh, sometimes, have, some people have lunch two times. But you know, sometimes a mother Sometimes as a mother, most times you forget to eat. You were carried away with so many things. Most times it's only once you will get the time to eat. I remember the time when I was working, working a night shift. I come home from work. My ex-husband would leave for work. Sometimes I come home and meet them sleeping. He's still sleeping. Maybe they shouldn't have to go to school. And I'll come home. I'll be the one to wake them up. I'll start taking care of the children, dressing them up for them to go to school. He will leave for work. Then my younger child stays just two hours at school. And then I need to probably shower, shower, uh, shower, take my shower because I came back from work. You want to hoover the house or dress their bed. 
before you know it the time because I wouldn't want to sleep because it's just two hours and a half. I wouldn't want to sleep so that I don't have to sleep off before um, the child it's time for them to, for them for her to come back from school. Then I will go and pick her up. When you pick her up, she stays another two hours to three hours before her sister comes home. And sometimes she's just a toddler. Then you'll be away because you need to watch her. I've been uh, there have been times that I was I was so tired as a as a mother. I slept on just to lay my head somewhere on the bed. She went to their room. If you can watch on her on her YouTube channel, she went to their room and messed up all the creams, everything on her body. Another day again, I was so tired. Her sister came back because I had to wait until her sister come. Uh, comes back, I have to go pick a sister from her own school. It's not close by. I have to either take a bicycle, take a car, or take a bus. Then she c came back. I was just trying to see if I could rest because I have to work the same night again. Only for me to wake up, to the, uh, the, uh, the small one to come to me all wet. I shocked when I went upstairs. In their room, they were playing with water. Her sister was busy picking, uh, collecting water from the bathroom and beating her in their bedroom. All their rocks were soaked in water. I had to clean it and I still had to go to work. And I have, before I leave, I have to make food for my dear ex-husband to eat before I leave. Most times it was frustrating that even though he comes back and sees that I've not, he, he doesn't bother to ask me, were you able to sleep? Were you able to catch some rest? Can you go to bed? Let me take over the In most cases, sometimes I feel tired and sad. I go to bed to see if I can sleep for just one hour or two. The student will still come to me and he will be downstairs pressing his phone or even sleeping while the student will be disturbing me and I cannot sleep. Sometimes I walked like a zombie, hitting my head when I'm sleeping at work, got tired. It was not easy. But every day, one day, when we're having issue, a friend of him told him that no matter how much I work, my duty is that whenever I come back home, I have to take care of the children and still make food for him. Oh God, please protect every woman who is struggling, taking care of their children and still running the family. Protect every woman, give them strength, give them long life and encourage them with your grace. Dear men, we need your support. When you support us, we will definitely have a sweet home. Support your wife in any way. When you support your wife, she will give you the maximum support you deserve as a man. I hope this makes sense. Make sure you're being you wherever you are. Because you know me, 